each of them having fought once before for British titles. Conway in the purple chump for the British super welterweight title against Ted Cheeseman back in 2019. That finished in a draw. And Eudophia, as Addy was saying in the build-up, beaten by Denzel Bentley last year for the middleweight crown. And his dad in the corner, Bill, saying, stay on the front foot and don't allow Eudophia to grow in confidence. Yeah, I mean, it's great advice what his dad gave him there. Um, lovely right hand as well there by um, Conway. I mean, he's just starting to grow in confidence himself by the looks of things now, and um, he's having a better start to the second round than he did the first. Speaking of Conway, in the week as well, he was saying against Suzoko and Amo Williams, he just held a little back. I think he showed too much respect. And I thought a guy called Gregory Trinnell was in that fight where he was levels above. He just went out there and expressed himself and done his own thing. And I feel he feels he has to do more. Just go in there and, and do your own work. And I feel like he's doing that in this contest. He's on the front foot. Yeah, he's double sound. He wants the rematch uh, with Amo Williams. He was disappointed in his performance. Um, and he feels like he didn't give everything he could have in the camp. And uh, he feels like he's got the beating of him. But it's a, a brilliant start from uh, Conway here, the first couple of rounds. It's the first time we've just seen the Dofia try and creep on the front foot. Be wary of that right hand of Conway. If you're going to keep it low, you've got to have razor sharp reactions. I think Adolfia needs to punch with Conway as he's letting his punches go to have a little bit more success in this fight. Nice jab again there from Conway. He just did well, Conway. Lovely right hand yeah, again. Good one too. Those no scoring rounds, those sorts of punches are crucial. That could be the difference, Mike. Exactly. But it's a good response from Conway. A nice start to the round from Adolfia. Badly was coming back. Conway pushing Adolfia around again. urgency required I feel from both you know in the distance Conway's boxing at the moment it's pretty hard for Adolfi to catch him with that right hand he's just chipping off now and, and stepping off to his right away from that right hand now and letting his own right hand go there um, I think like I say he needs to push him back now to start having success with, the, with his own shots Adolfi I think he's just getting you know put on the back foot a little bit too much here And it's always a fact, you know, a fighter might recognise this in round seven and round eight, but you might be four or five rounds down when you do recognise it, so that's the time you've got to start taking chances. Leave it all in the ring. That was a lovely left hook from Conway. Now step on you, Dofia. Keep going, apply that pressure, let your hands go. How much do you want it? How much do you want to fight for that British title? This is good work from Conway. Adolfia this coming back with his own right hand there. Um, Conway at the minute for me is boxing absolutely class. He's putting the pressure on, he's using his jab well, he's that right hand's working lovely for him. Got the experience, Conway of those big Canelo Alvarez undercards. Boxed twice on them, but each time he lost, went in a second favourite against Alo Williams as he lands another Ooh. lovely right hand. Good response from Eudopia. And second favourite also against the French African Suleiman Sissoko. But those fights, as he was telling Darren earlier this week, are fights that he believes he should have and could have won. Can't leave regrets in here tonight with a tilt at the British title at stake. Exactly that. Get back in that change room knowing you've done win, lose or draw that you've given everything. No regrets this time. So much on the line. Adolfia now just needs to take these chances now. He's going to get the doctor to look at his eye, I think. Yeah, they've had 60 seconds to work on it in the corner with a pack of ice, but that looks like that has pretty much oh, closed. Yeah. And referee Howard Foster decides that that is enough, that Eudophia cannot continue with that kind of injury. So Kieran Conway has broken through. 
tonight leaving with no regrets against Amo Williams and against Suleiman Sissoko fights he thought he should have and could have won but this time he gets it right Darren big win for Conway Mike really really puts him in the right direction towards the British title and it was the right thing from the referee because it was the left hook that started the damage to that right eye of Eudofia and it only would have got worse there's no doubt Conway would have kept looking for the left hook and the pressure was there Billy the intent was there and it was a good win yeah I think it's a big statement you know with um, Adolfia going points with Denzel Bentley and uh, Conway coming in and stopping him the fashion he did. Uh, to be honest with you, I had Conway up on points. I think he, the, the, the pressure he was putting forward behind that jab and that right hand he was looking for. Brilliant tactics from the corner and uh, a fantastic win. Congratulations. I think it would have been a fight I would have liked the sin to go into seven, eight, nine, ten rounds. I think we would have been really in for a bit of entertainment, but, you know, he can't carry on like that. It's just, he can't do that. Well, the big crossover showdown in Manchester now, just a week away. Tommy Fury against KSI, live on the zone pay-per-view. Logan Paul against Dylan Dennis, also on the bill. Next week in Manchester. Here, though, Billy Joe Saunders motioned to me as Eudofia went back to his corner that that will be that, and so right he was. Boxers who've been through these situations know exactly what that kind of injury means. So let's get the official time now from David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Howard Foster calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, two seconds of round number six, declaring a winner by TKO and the new WBA Intercontinental Middleweight Champion, Kieran Duclass. So he's used the experience of big fight undercars to get it right this time. No regrets tonight. Kieran Conway wins the final eliminator for the British middleweight title and he'll get a second tilt at British title success after going so close against Ted Cheeseman four years ago. Another chance for Kieran Conway. <laughs>